Y'all, the glimpses of the person from the beginning is the worst part. It like reattaches you instantly. That is some real shit right there when you're dealing with narcissistic abuse. So let's get into it. The beginning of a relationship with a narcissist, when they're wearing that mask and they're sometimes mirroring your behaviors and they're portraying themselves as this amazing human being with all of the things that you're looking for in a partner, you fall for that version of them. And then what happens is when you get into a relationship with them, eventually cracks start to surface in that mask that they're wearing. And you start to get glimpses of a different version of them that you don't recognize, which is actually the real them. But because the majority of the time they keep their mask on and that amazing version of them is the version that you see most of the time, when you see those cracks in the mask that don't seem like the same person, you brush them under the rug and you chalk it up to maybe them just having a bad day. As you're with them longer and longer, the two versions swap. So it goes from being mostly that amazing version that they showed you in the beginning with little cracks of a version you don't recognize to the opposite. It turns into mostly a version that you don't recognize with only glimpses of the person from the beginning. But it's done so slowly and so insidiously over time that you don't even realize that that swap is taking place. You don't even realize what's going on. And they start gaslighting you and making you believe that it's your fault that they're acting the way that they are towards you now and making you feel like it's your fault that the person from the beginning is gone. So you spend the whole relationship trying everything in your power to get that person from the beginning back. And the most confusing part about the whole thing is that it's not like that person from the beginning is completely gone forever. They will give you glimpses of that person from the beginning throughout the relationship, but the cycle shortens and the glimpses get smaller and smaller and smaller. But when you're deeply in a narcissist web, it doesn't matter how small those glimpses are anymore. You're just excited to see that person from the beginning again, even if it's only for a day. It gives you relief. It makes you feel like everything is okay again, and it makes you forget all the abuse that's been going on. As soon as you see that glimpse of the person from the beginning, you're like, yes, they're back. There's hope. Seeing that glimpse, no matter how small it is, enables you to keep telling yourself the story that that person from the beginning is real. That if you keep working hard enough and you keep trying to fix the relationship, that eventually that person from the beginning will fully come back. You don't know it at the time, but the person from the beginning does not exist. It's a facade. It's a mask. And all they have to do is every now and then put that mask back on to keep you stringing along and keep you stuck in this cycle. And not only that, but this cycle literally causes imbalances in your body that make it so addictive. When you're going through abusive episodes and you're getting that version of them that you don't recognize, your body is releasing cortisol because you're so stressed out all the time. And then when they eventually come back around and put that mask of the person from the beginning back on, you get a little dopamine hit. You get a little oxytocin hit. And then it's back to the other version and more stress and more cortisol. And then the mask again with more oxytocin and more dopamine. Doing this cycle over and over and over to the point that your body craves those dopamine and oxytocin hits from this person specifically. And it feels like they're the only person who can give it to you. It feels like they're the only person who can make you feel good again and give you relief because they are both the person who is causing you pain and causing you anxiety and they are the relief from that pain and that anxiety. This form of psychological abuse is something serious because like this person said, the moment you get that glimpse of the person from the beginning, it reattaches you instantly. The biggest part about narcissistic abuse is that there is a high level of deception within their identity itself. The whole relationship, they're swapping between two different versions of themselves. And it keeps you confused as fuck and it keeps you sticking around waiting for the good version to return. If you're watching this, please know that that person from the beginning is never going to fully come back because that person simply doesn't exist.